Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to give you a basic introduction to a new system that I've developed for Ford cars that are fitted with the Denso touchscreen navigation system like this, uh, for example the Mark III Mondeo. Uh, it's a variation on a similar system that I've developed for Jaguar cars called Jagdroid. Um, the idea being that you retain the factory head unit um, and all the factory functions remain as standard but you have the additional ability to run a full Android operating system on the factory screen so you can run up to date apps uh, for navigation such as Waze, Google Maps and music like Spotify, Apple Music and what have you. Um, I'll go into a little bit more detail about how that works now. So the way that it works is I offer this as a conversion service. So you send your existing touchscreen head unit to me. I fit the additional internal boards and, and make the wiring adjustments that are needed. Um, and it will come fitted with some additional connectors on the back. So we've got HDMI input, power output to the Android computer. There's a reverse camera input as well. So you can fit reverse camera if you want to do that. Everything's powered by an Odroid N2 Plus. Uh, computer which runs Android and is connected via HDMI into the screen. So what I'll do is I'll get this hooked up on my test bench and I'll give you a quick demo of, of how it works. So this is what you'll see when you start the system up. As you can see it's exactly the same as a standard system. You've got your AM, FM, radio, uh, CD. I haven't actually got a disc in there at the moment. The phone, if you've got the phone module installed and all of the climate control functions will, will operate as normal. Uh, the big difference is now when you press nav, rather than take you to the outdated Denso DVD-based navigation, it takes you into the Android system. So the screen you're, you're looking at here is a, um, it's a launcher called Car Launcher Pro, which is designed specifically to be installed on a car-based Android platform. There are other launchers that other people prefer, such as Agama, and the, I'm sure there's other ones that are designed to give you this sort of um, car-centric user interface with easy access to all of your apps. You've got your music cover art, you can stop and play the music, it'll show you the current track and GPS position, that kind of thing. But you can customise it to do whatever you want. Now I've installed a, a few apps on here that I regularly use, so you can install things like Google Chrome, uh, Gmail, um, as well as um, things for music such as Spotify and TuneIn. I've got a couple of um, navigation apps on here, so I've got Google Maps and Waze installed, and of course the Play Store is available, so you can install any, any app that you would normally get on an Android phone and tablet. Now these are just shortcuts to your most frequently used apps. On Car Launcher Pro, if you press this icon here, it'll take you to every app that's installed on the system, so you're not, you're not only limited to what's on the home screen here. Um, so for example, uh, when you're playing music, um, it will be connected to the aux in of the car. So the way that it works on the Ford system, um, if you've already got one of these, you'll probably be familiar. Uh, normally you would go onto CD by pressing the CD mode, but if you go into the menu, you can activate aux input so that when you press CD, it's taking it from a three and a half millimeter jack input. So that's th that you would use that for the audio coming out of the Odroid computer, and that will bring sound into the um, the Fordroid, as I call the system. Um, so if I was to play music, or I can go into Spotify, play music, you can hear that comes out of the, the speakers. I'll, I'll stop that so YouTube doesn't give me a copyright strike, uh, but you get the idea. Um, and Car Launcher Pro will bring through cover art and you can skip the tracks forward and backwards on here if you want to do that as well. Um, Google Maps works quite well. So there's, um, I supply as part of the conversion, a USB GPS unit which sits up on the dash and gives the Android computer a GPS location. One cool thing that you can do is when you're in Android mode already and you press nav, it will actually launch a navigation app of your choice. So at the moment I've got this set up for a GPS test app and I don't have a position here because I'm, I'm actually indoors so the signal's too weak. But you would set this up so that it will launch your navigation app that you prefer to use, so Waze or um, TomTom or Google Maps or whatever. And then you can go back to the home screen by pressing home. It's just a quicker way of getting into that. Um, You've also got a reversing camera. So there's also a, a reverse trigger input that wires into the reversing lamp so that when you put the car into reverse gear, it will automatically activate the reverse camera. Now I've got, I've got a test camera set up here in my workshop. Um, the picture quality isn't very good because I'm indoors and it hasn't got a very good view. But if I simulate pressing the, uh, putting the car into reverse now, I'm just holding up a picture of 
my dog driving it, an MX-5. So you'll get the idea of what you might see in your reverse uh, camera. Now, I don't actually supply reverse cameras. Um, th there's so many out there on the market, but any um, composite video, either PAL or NTSC one should work. And you can plug that into, there's a phono or RCA input, whatever you want to call it. That will bring that video signal into the four droid unit. Um, so that's a very brief overview of how the system works. I'll record a few more videos in more detail showing, showing things um, in a bit more detailed view. But for now, that gives you a basic overview of how the system works. Um, it would be great if you could follow me on Facebook. Um, I've got a page set up called 4Droid. So if you search for 4Droid, you'll find it. Uh, and that's where I'll start to post more information as, as it becomes available I feel, when I record uh, more videos on my YouTube channel, which you can look up, which is called Jagdroid. Um, and I think that's it for now. Thank you very much for watching.